Another update for you tonight on a story we followed since last year. Dothan police found an infant's body placed inside a freezer at the in-town suites, the same hotel we just mentioned on Ross Clark Circle. And now the charges for one suspect have been downgraded tonight. Sarah Drake is live on the west side with more on this development. Sarah, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Ben. I want to take a second to show you right behind me is the in-town suites here in Dothan. And this is the scene where Carlton James Mathis and Amanda Oaks allegedly killed their six-month-old child. And now the murder charge for Mathis has been downgraded to manslaughter. On June 19th, Dothan police obtained a murder warrant for Carlton James Mathis for his involvement in his six-month-old infant's death. And according to court records, Mathis' murder charge was dropped. He was serving time down in Florida. Uh, stemming out of this same uh, series of events, and uh, they brought him back here for trial. The state dismissed the murder charge and indicted him on a manslaughter charge. The case began when Dothan police were notified of a possible infant death. This set off a series of events that ended with police finding the infant's body in a freezer at the Dothan in town suites. Initially, Mathis was charged with murder. Instead, he now faces a manslaughter charge and pleaded not guilty last Thursday. As for why the decision was made to drop the charge, I can't really tell you what their motivations were on that. I know that the the mother of the child, Mr. Mathis's co-defendant, she was originally charged with manslaughter as well. So that, that's really all I can I can tell you. When this story broke, one Wiregrass mother talked to WDHN News about how she felt knowing someone could do this to their child. It absolutely breaks my heart just knowing that I have a baby, a three-year-old, and how that my main role as a mother is to 100% take care of her and, you know, make sure she is 100% healthy. It breaks my heart that people would do that. Clifton tells me that the next step for this case is to go to trial. However, there's no set date at this time. Now, I did reach out to the district attorney's office to see if they would give a comment about why they decided to drop the murder charge. However, he wasn't able to get back with me this afternoon. Reporting live in Dothan, Sarah Drake, WDHN News 18. Ben. All right, Sarah, thanks for that update tonight. After a report of gunfire near